Yeah, do this one. CP up is good. Galleon Tower. We're not even gonna need Genesis Flood. We'll be done with all these losers besides Garcia in no time flat. Actually, the Mafias have a lot more than I thought they did, to be honest. Yeah, it's not much more. They just haven't been hit that much. I really wish I had some EP ups here. I mean, you got the strength buff from Kia, so we should really take advantage of that. Don't screw up my formation. You do this. I should wait. If I... Yeah, do that because I'll build the CP back up. And I do this before your buff runs out. Oh, look at them all gathered together. How lovely. We have all the rain if things get really dicey. Yeah, we got this in the back. This is like the first like challenging fight though. In zero. Sorry, Lloyd. Sacrifices must be made. It's only one turn, though. You can deal with it. <laughs> yeah, you have incredible range. You cross Mirage here? Trying to really get rid of the goons before anything else. Not my Ellie. I really, really want the thing. I want Genesis Flood. I wish I had EP Charge 2s. Power. Hey, yeah, buff your strength all you want and speed, I guess, if you really want to get crazy about it. You have the um the time barrier move. Yeah, do this. It's only on one character though. But I guess characters in range of it will get delayed. Get on, Lloyd. Seems like the best call. Yes. You having an Easter Buster would have been swell, but you do not. So I mean, do that. The Genesis Flood. Punch him in the face. I mean, the only way you kill me is if you decide to use um, decide to use your S craft. Sorry, Lloyd. I did all I could. On the bright side, there's no way that Mafia Goon will go for it. At least I don't think he will, but just to be safe... Okay. Get him with the Tiger Charge. Did you like my favorite scene? That depends what your favorite scene was. Stuff with Kia, it's neat, I guess. Go, burn divider. Job. Yeah, go for the tidal wave here. Fine. Check it off. Garcia getting another turn is kind of bad, though. If your range is good, though, you can heal Tio. 
Thank you, Wazi, for having good range. You punch him? Oh no, Whirlwind Kick! As long as you don't cancel my tidal wave, then we're good. Yeah, we're fine for this. Girl C is not even gonna get to his crit, but just to be safe, you know. Spark gun. The ocean stuff was cool. It was neat, I guess. Phantom Rush. Oh, you're supposed to be down for the count, sir. I was supposed to kill you. You're also using this on the one character that will die from this. Well, T.O., sorry you missed out on experience. Because Ellie's gonna cast this and kill. Sorry, T.O. I would've got you up if Ellie didn't cast that art. Breaking baddies. Quite the handful, wasn't he? Boss, are you alright? <laughs> I was just planning to have an appetizer, but that was the full course. Ah, the big man's already back up! That can't be possible. Thought Wall was strong, but he doesn't even compare. Color me impressed. An absolute monster, that's what he is. <laughs> Look who's talking. You're just the same as me, aren't you, Randolph Orlando? Well, yeah, you did, like, know, or Randy or you had, like, some kind of, like, oh, there's some kind of history here. I was spot on then. One of the strongest Jaeger cores in Western Jumeria, one I'm very familiar with, the Red Constellation. Oh, Randy was a Jaeger then. Just the leader's son, the Red Reaper, was so bloodthirsty, he'd slaughter anyone in his way. Is ringing any bells, son of the war god of Randolph Orlando? Son of the war god? The Red Constellation is one of the most notorious Jaeger cores in Zemuria. No way. Just to catch that out of the bag. You know your stuff, old man. You got most of your facts straight. Though it makes me sick to my stomach whenever someone calls me son of the war god. <laughs> Can't help wondering how you ended up in Crossbell. Must be quite the story. You know, when I was working for Zephyr, the Red Constellation was always the biggest pain in our ass. Isn't this just perfect? How about we have our own little skirmish? You and me, right here, right now. Have it your way. Hey, Randy. Leave it to me, guys. If I take on this geezer, you might be able to find an opening. Just forget about me and focus on getting out of here in one piece. That's not happening. Randy, you can't. Get a hold of yourself. War cry. A Jaeger exclusive technique that brings out one's very own battle aura. <laughs> now that's the spirit. Get back! Incredible. Everything's all rumbly. This keeps up. Oh, is that coming in clutch? Save the day? No. Huh? The howl. There he is. The hell? Hey, get up, you mutts. Yo, my boy Zai. Damn dog. Wait, is that? Hey, we're in luck. Back to crossbow we go. Hurry up and get your asses in here. Chief? 
Oh, a boat. Nice timing. You aren't getting away. Damn it, you bastard. Sorry, but it seems like our little skirmish will have to wait. More importantly, do you have any idea what you guys were doing? Trying to auction off a human child? What the hell is wrong with you? What are you talking about? This girl was locked up in the trunk inside the storeroom. Surely you know what that means for Ravash and Co, right? What the hell are you on about? That truck had a doll from the Rosenberg studio in it, not that kid. Whatever you say, it doesn't change the fact that we found her there. Depending on how this whole debacle plays out, it may be hard for you guys to get off the hook this time. It sounds like the situation got more complicated than we thought. Hey Ravash, the CPD will need to have a chat with you sometime soon. I'll let you sort out this mess amongst yourselves first though. SSS, move out, get on already. Yes sir. Damn it. Aren't there any other boats? Oh, he mad. That bear. What a bear. Oh, the auction. Everyone, please settle down. There's been a minor incident, but the auction will proceed as planned. Minor incident, my ass. Those were gunshots we heard, right? What do you take us for? I'll bring the die into this, don't think I won't. Please everyone, just calm down. Hmm, useless morons. Who do they think they are? How dare they make a fool of me. Speaker Hartman? Where are you going? Please wait. <laughs> I suppose that means the auction's cancelled. Oh, pity. Things didn't go the way I expected, but at least I got a front row seat to quite an interesting show. And Lecter. And there they go. Dang, I was really looking forward to spending a bit more time hanging out here. Guess I'll just have to cut my fun short. Ah, from my point of view, you've had more than your fair share of fun tonight. Yeah, Kielika. Kielika, Kielika, Kielika. For someone who serves as the link connecting the Blood and Iron Chancellor with Hartman, you've acted quite improperly this evening, haven't you? Ah, oh, whatever you could be- could you be talking about? It's not like I gave the main story direct help on like a certain someone. Sure that's okay though? Kind of a big deal to interfere with another country's domestic affairs like that? Oh, you're talking about the chakram technique? It was most impressive. Perhaps the infamous assassin Jin made an appearance tonight. What did you say? Well, my main objective was to make contact with you anyway. Ilika Ruan, Division Chief of the Rocksmith Agency. <laughs> My, someone's well informed. I suppose I should expect as much of a second secretary from the imperial government. Though perhaps it's more appropriate to address, by, address you by your primary position, Captain Lecter Arundel of the Imperial Intelligence Division. Guess we figured each other out then. That should make things easier. How about we head on back to the hotel lounge and have ourselves a nice chat? We can talk about fun stuff, you know, like our country's plans regarding the information war being waged in Crossbell. Maybe the new rules for this modern era where we have the non-aggression pact and the orbital network to consider. Yes, let's begin. The era where countries make grabs for power through sabotage and terrorism is now over. Even if the rules we lay down are preliminary, we must forge a new order. For the sake of preventing any more tragic accidents from occurring in Crossbell. Chapter N? No? Alright, we got a bit more. So that's what happened. Well, for now, I'll ignore the fact that you completely disregarded my warning. Sorry, Chief. Right now, this girl's our primary issue. Depending on how the Mafia decides to respond to this, we might be in a real tight spot. Seriously? They were planning to sell this kid. I can't imagine what they'll do to make sure that info doesn't get out. Honestly, I can't really see this ending well for anyone. I doubt the Mafia would be so brazen as to attack the police department, but... 
Is someone gonna try to do something bad to me? It's okay, we won't let that happen. But more importantly, Kia, have you remembered anything else? Nope, not a thing. I was afraid so. Still at square one. Oh, by the way, Randy. How about we save my story for another day, huh? I mean, if you still want me in the SSS, that is. Don't be ridiculous, Randy. Yes, we tolerate a lot of your dumb comments, but that goes too far. <laughs> Why would you even say such a thing? Sorry about that. Hey, doggy. Why do Lloyd and the others look upset? Ah, don't you worry. This is all just part of the beauty of youth. Beauty of youth? You seem pretty unfazed considering everything you just we just went through. I can still hardly believe it myself. I mean, we got chased down by the mafia. It almost doesn't seem real. Unfortunately, I don't believe any of that was a dream. Anyway, maybe we'll go over everything once we... Get back to the office. Starting tomorrow, we're all gonna have to be on high alert. <laughs> yes, sir. Okie dokie. There it is, chapter 3 end. I wonder if, um, I wonder if the next chapter is the last. I can totally see that being the case. To be honest. Based on, like, how long each chapter is and how things are going with the story. Oh, 194 DP. Yeah, I'll save. The girl in the trunk. Girl in the trunk. Yeah, I'll go, uh, I'll go another hour. Why not? I was gonna stop here, but... One week passed. The special support section was sheltering Kia at the SS's building, all while watching for possible retaliation from the Mafia. Relying on police intelligence and even Yona's vast information network, they carefully monitored the movements of Ravash and Speaker Hartman. On the other hand, Kia, despite her memories not returning, quickly settled into her new life with the SSS. And then... A truce? Yep, it's unofficial, but apparently that's the message Ravash has been sending to the police department. They claim that kid slipping into one of the exhibits was a mistake, and on top of that, they have no idea who she is. Of course, they pointed fingers at Hayui, but who knows what actually happened. I agree. When we busted into the exhibit room, Yin had just defeated the mafiosos who were standing guard. I doubt he had time to bring Kia in from the outside and swap her out for the doll. Does that mean she was already in the trunk you guys saw by the time it was sent to the mansion? Where the hell was it even sent from in the first place? I can't say for sure, but I've heard some mutterings about it being acquired through a Rumiferian back channel. Supposedly it was brought to the mansion on the last day of the festival, the day of the auction. And Ravash insists that the shipping company that dropped it off turned out to be fake. What? That can't be. So they're claiming they're being framed for the whole situation? Yep, that's the long and short of it. I don't know what's true or not, but it's clear that Ravash is desperately trying to throw out excuses for what happened. After all, if they aren't careful, they could be accused of human trafficking. Weapons trafficking, mirror laundering, and an illegal auction that deals in stolen goods. Even guys bad enough to commit crimes like that without batting an eye don't want to get near human trafficking. That goes without saying, human trafficking falls under one of the highest classes of offense. There's no chance anyone accused of it will get off lightly. Not even the CPD would stay silent about it. And if the guild caught whiff of it, they bring an army of errant racers in to wipe you off the map. They got their honor as support in the gauntlet to uphold, after all. Rush couldn't rest that large at the scandal, let alone Speaker Hartman. I understand what they're saying, but to be honest, I'm not fully convinced. Yeah, and that brings us to the truth. They claim that your undercover investigation was a cut and dry case of trespassing, but it sounds like they're willing to look past it. They intend to leave everything to us, even custody of the girl who just happened to be in that trunk. In exchange, we're gonna accept whatever they say happened as the truth. And not to get the guild involved in all of this either. That about sum it up? Sheesh, they must really be desperate. Since this involves Kia, I'd rather not leave things unsettled. But if the Mafia is saying they're not going to try and take her back, we might have no choice but to let things be. Yeah, I feel the same way. Right now our main concern is that we have no clue where she came from. 
Right. The fact that she can't remember anything besides her name doesn't make it any easier. Still, you gotta admit she's the brightest, friendliest little rascal you'll ever meet. She's gotten uh, pretty attached to us over the past week, hasn't she? She sure is. That includes you and Zaitu, of course. I suppose so. I'm used to kids keeping their distance from me on account of all the cigarette smoke. Yeah, it's fair. Doesn't seem like it bothers her much at all, though. Mademoiselle and Teotar are already obsessed with the little tyke, too. Be sure I saw him hauling in the mountain of clothes for her to try on earlier. I'm glad we had those two help with that. I know I'd have no idea what clothes to pick out for a little girl. Still, can't help but wonder, though. Who is this child? Whose child is she? Is what that said. Aha, I found you. Lloyd, look, look. Yeah. Ellie and Tio picked out a bunch of clothes for me. They're all super cute, but these are my most favorite of all. What do you think? Well, it's kind of hard for me to see with you hugging me like this. Oh, I guess so. Oh, how nice. I dig it. Okay, how about now? Wow, they do. They did. They did good. Words. Would you look at that? Not bad. So, you like it? Yeah, they're super cute. That outfit really suits you. Really? Hey, Randy, Mr. Chief, do you think I'm cute too? Yup, cutest girl in all of Crossbell. I think Randy's definition of cute is different than the general public's, though. Doesn't look too shabby, kid. Looks like someone couldn't wait to make her a big debut. I wanted her to try on the rest of the outfits, but she ran off. Guess what? Lloyd and the others said I'm cute. That's wonderful. I imagine Lloyd would tell Kia she looked cute no matter what outfit she wore. Hey, it's probably not. That's probably true, actually. Just look at that. Lloyd's already a dear, doting father. Hard to believe it's only been a week since Keto arrived. Keto? Keto? So why is your name spelled like that? That's gonna bother me for the rest of this playthrough and the rest of Azure. So much has gone on, I can hardly believe it myself. Oh, that reminds me. Would you end up hearing from headquarters, Chief? You mentioned something about Ravash proposing a truce. Yeah, let's see here. Don't worry, I can explain everything while we have lunch. So that's it. Well, at least we won't have to worry about the Mafia for now. However, that leaves us with another issue we need to resolve. Yeah, pretty much... They pretty much threw everything at us and washed our hands of it. Right now, we should focus on figuring out where she's from and helping her regain her memories. Hey, Kia, do you really not remember anything? Anything at all? Uh, nope. Don't think so. I do remember seeing your funny face when you found me, though. Your eyes and my mouth were wide open. Wait, are you talking about when we first met? Yeah, I don't really remember anything before that. That's okay. Not much we can do if she doesn't remember, Lloyd. Chief, you mentioned you were gonna ask around her- Around- Ask around her, correct? Did you find anything out? Ah, about that. I spoke with people at the train station, airport, even the city gates, but no one saw our mystery draw onto the city. This might end up being tougher to figure out than we thought. That's a shame. What's wrong, Lloyd? Does your tummy hurt or something? No, I'm okay. Chief, I was thinking, and I have a request. Would you mind if we brought Kia into the city with us later this afternoon? Hmm. Do you have any potential leads? Sort of. I was actually thinking of asking the Bracer Guild for a bit of help. Excuse me? Why them, of all people? What's a Bracer? Clever. Gilda's branch is spanning the entire continent. Tapping into their info network would be the quickest way to get any news about a missing kid. Yeah, and Estelle and Joshua said that they'd do anything for us or whatever. That's right, I think if there was ever a time to turn to them, it'd be now. Is that alright? Nah, why not? It's not like the CPD and Guild are enemies per se. It's just that most of the force has a pretty petty grudge against them how, over how popular they are. A case is a case, and if you ask them to collaborate, I doubt they'd refuse. That's what I'm thinking too. We're already pals with Estelle and Joshua, so this might work. We could certainly use the assistance. But Lloyd, you're not intending to head out with Kia on your own, are you? Actually, I was, yeah. It'd probably be overkill if we all went, so I thought I'd go with her. Unacceptable. She's already extremely attached to you, and now you want to keep her all to yourself? How could you, Lloyd? 
That's not fair, Lloyd. Don't you think we should all have equal opportunities to bond with her? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> that right there is pure jealousy, my friend. Just think about the last few days whenever it's time to sleep. Kido always cuddles up with you in your room. What do you call her Kido? It's not like I ask her to. She always crawls into my bed after I fall asleep. Ah, yeah, there's nothing you can do about that. Listen, Kia, you have to be a good girl and sleep in your own room, okay? But when I'm next to you, it makes it a lot easier to fall asleep. If it's annoying, I guess I can stop. No, I wouldn't call it annoying. Don't be so cold, Lloyd. She's probably still anxious from everything that happened to her. All she wants is the security of sleeping next to someone. What do you want from me? Well, why don't you let her stick with you for now, kid? As for going out into the city, you should take at least another person with you. Sure, Ravash has called the truce for the time being, but it'd still be best to stay on your toes. Uh, understood, we'll be careful. Do I get to choose someone to take? 